What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today we're working on a 2010 Volkswagen Beetle with a 2.5 5 cylinder engine and what we're going to be doing today is replacing the spark plugs, pretty simple to the point we should be able to knock this out in under 10 minutes so if you need to do this on your vehicle, stay tuned. Alright, so here we go, this is the engine, um, this plastic here is just an engine cover. So we should be able just to pop it out like that. So let me set you guys up so I can just pull this up and I can show you guys under it. All right, so in this engine cover, we'll just pop it straight up. Same thing on the back. There it goes, that side. There it goes. Just straight up back like this. And back here, we have the spark plugs. We have one, two, three, four, five. Um, let me blow some air in here so we can get a better look at it. All right, so here we go. We got the five spark plugs right here. Um, this one's really, there's nothing holding down the, the coil. There's nothing holding it down. All we got to do is pop it straight up. So after we pop it up, all five of them, um, I'm going to put a flathead screwdriver here. And I can just do it with this small one right here. And you guys can hear it click. If I put it right here and then kind of pull it back, you'll hear it. You hear that click? That means it's already, um, it like, it unhooked from here. So when you do this, you hear the click and then you can pull it straight back and you should be able to unplug it. But right now, the harness is on this little channel here. So first we're gonna pop them all out and then the harness should come up with it and then we'll unclip them all and then we should be able just to take out the coils. And the best way to take out this if we just grab like a flathead screwdriver and then we put it like right here and we grab it from here and then it comes up there it goes so that one came up so now we're gonna do this one Once it's up a little bit, you should be able to get it loose. And that's all that's all that's holding it down, just basically the rubber. So we're gonna do that to all of them. Now I'm gonna do this one's back here. And now this one. Now that all five of them are pretty much. Now that all five of them are out, you guys can see them right here. And you guys can see that the harness came out of the channel. So now I'm gonna use that flathead screwdriver. Uh, let's put it right here so I can undo these clips. And then you pull it straight back. Same thing on this one. There it goes. And then we just kind of move the, let the harness fall back there. And now I'll just pull the coil straight up. And I'm gonna put them somewhere where I can put them in the exact same position that they were before. And now just to take off the spark plugs. To remove the spark plug, I'm using a 5 8 spark plug socket. Should be able just to fit it down there. There it goes, it's on the spark plug. And and there's that first one. As you can see it, almost completely done. So now I'm gonna remove the rest of them.
Okay, now, so to put on the spark plugs back in, um, I'm not gonna, well, I can show you guys the spark plug number that I'm using, this Autolite uh, 5224. But um, I do believe that different um, engine codes take different spark plugs on this vehicle. So you might want to do your own research to see exactly what spark plugs um, your particular engine takes. I know they're, they're all 2.5. Um, or if you have this 2.5 liter engine. Um, but uh, different engine codes take different spark plugs. Also, um, different engine codes get gapped differently. Um, for this particular engine, it was uh, it was from one to 1.1 millimeters, which is actually on the back of the um, gapping tool that usually AutoZone has, not the front, but the back. Um, but that's on this one. So, like I said, do your research to what engine code you have and what um, gap uh, yours needs as far as the tightening the how tight they go um, I think the actual measurements is 18 uh, 18 foot pounds um, which is not a lot so I'm just gonna do them by hand because um, it's pretty much what I've always done um, but if you want to be technical I think it's 18 between 15 and 18 uh, but that is it. Just gonna put everything back and put my cover back on and that should be everything Okay, so now I'm gonna put all the coils back where they went First, I'm gonna put them all kind of where they went and then I'm gonna put Clip on the harness and then I'll push start pushing them all in inside. So um, Here we go first one goes in here And just kind of to show you so first i'm trying to align them all since the harness is kind of hard so that one aligns there align there and then just kind of this one is a little bit looser so just kind of clicks on there you go and now i'm just gonna push all of them in now that they're all clicked on i'm just gonna push them in put the harness back where it went and that is everything now I just put my cover back on that is everything all right guys so that is how you replace the spark plugs on your 2.5 liter engine Volkswagen um I think some Jetta's Passat's they also have the 2.5 um, but most Beatles also have these 2.5. So that's how you replace those spark plugs. Like I said, do this research as far as what engine code you have to see what, what spark plugs you need, what spark plug gaps you need on your vehicle. But that is it, it's pretty simple. It takes 10 minutes to do, especially on these ones, there is no intake going over it that you have to take off all this stuff. It's pretty simple. Basically the things you have to be more careful about is when you take off the coils, um, just make sure that you maybe press it from one side both sides so you can kind of take it out evenly there is a tool that they sell that you kind of grabs it on both ends and you kind of pull it up but if you don't have the tool um two screwdrivers will work but that is it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe hit that bell for me share the channel i will catch you guys on the next video thank you for watching you guys have yourselves great day